how to create this model on catia v5 this is the photo image and i'll show another image of this see straight it, it has a grids like this grids and this, to the top it is straight and to the base it is closed then how to create this in catia v5 this is another uh, uh, model another shape which has open on both sides in this video you are going to see how to create this model welcome to imperial cat system see that model we create in surface modeling go to surface modeling start generator shape design go for ok see to get this shape to get this grid see we have to use helix option helix option we have in surface modeling we can see that in surface modeling in wireframe toolbar we need to use this option helix define then go for helix option starting point right click create point y direction i give y direction of some distance that shows its area forty then go for ok then axis i select axis as this then i increase height like this we need to take a wireframe height i give some 150 and pitch to get that shape the pitch should be greater than the height just give the pitch of 200 mm c or 175 if i go for 175 c or no need of a this much twist i give 250 mm c like this then to close this if we want to open both sides then this curve like this like this model then this curve is enough this wireframe is enough but if you want to close at the bottom see if it is closed to its bottom then go for line point direction or yeah point direction select point direction select point the bottom point direction as right click y axis a reverse direction and give the distance uh, such that it it should re it should touch origin i give 40 mm and to get straight on its top go for line select this point direction select that direction some 40 or 60 whatever preview then go for ok see it should not be point connectivity we need to give corners this is a 3d wireframe which has a three curves so how to give corner in my last video i have explained see here corner 3d corner we can give we can select a corner option 
element first element as uh, this line second element as this line not corner on support you need to select a 3d corner then you can see preview option select this trim element one trim element two increase the radius Fifteen mm, I give. Then go for okay. I still reduce to some twelve mm. Then in the same way, we need to give corner to the top also. Go for corner. Select curve one and curve two. You will increase the radius. not 30 i give some 10 mm let me check how we get to the top we need to give more radius i give 30 40 yes we got a 3d cover like this then mirror this curve to the other direction also we need this type of curve to mirror in surface modeling just go for symmetry select this uh, 3d curve then select the plane now we get uh, two curves on both sides see like this then go to plane select the curve and keep this in normal to curve normal to curve select this curve first and select the starting point we get a plane normal to curve select this plane go to sketch create a profile i select centered rectangle give length I give some 5, five mm this also 5 mm exit now go to start part design We need to take two rectangles. See, rib. I go for rib. I select this rectangle and I select this curve. So that along that curve, a rectangular shape, a material is added. Then go for OK. Can we select the scheme, same sketch to the other curve also? I go for rib. I select the same profile. And now I select this curve, then go for OK. See, same sketch I have used it twice. Then both sides we got these elements, this feature. Then go for circular pattern, select rib 1, current solid, select this rib 1. A reference element select this z axis then increase 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 360 by 12 30 degrees then go for ok see now we have applied circular pattern for a one rib to intersect, we need to again go for circular pattern. Current solid, I select rib 2. Reference element, right click Z direction. Then I go for OK. Dual elements, instances, 30 degrees. 360 by 12, 30 degrees. 
See, now we got uh, that shape. I reduce this. See, vertically, it is at its top and the bottom, it is closed. Very useful option. To generate this, see, to reduce the height of this, nothing but the curve, the line which we took, I think this one, uh, we took 60, I slightly reduced to 50, then see the changes. As the feature is uh, complicated, it will take uh, some time to get the output, see, like this. Now, uh, if you want more grids, uh, just uh, double click on circular pattern, uh, I give 15, 360 by 15, 24 degrees, 24, then go for OK. Then again, the next circular pattern, this also I, I give 15, 15, and the angular spacing is 24 degrees, 24, then go for OK. We get the output. In few seconds, it will take few seconds. So, like this, uh, we can create these type of shapes in CATIA V5 by getting into surface modeling option. See, I turn and I show you the base. It is closed. See here how nice it is. It is merged actually, as we have given more number of instances. Uh, See, if you give less instances, you will get a somewhat more gap between. So, this is the process to create this type of outputs. For this, the main option, we need to use helix with the pitch greater than the height and apply corners, connect lines, then use rib option in pot modeling thank you for watching this video for more videos like this share and subscribe imperial cat system